Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you reside only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be, my darlings. <laughs> Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our terror reading. Um, so we have someone that may be having a hard time with accepting some type of reality that's going on right now. Someone is having a lot of, I don't know if someone's crying behind the scenes or just having some type of outburst of emotions um, because there's some type of manipulation someone has been doing that has been exposed. And someone has been doing this for a long time when it comes to like their words and how they use their words and things like that. It's that one of those people that are really crafty with their words, like they're really cunning and conniving. It's like everything they say to you is like planned, it's meticulous, it's orchestrated. Everybody around them, they use their words to manipulate them and they use their words to separate people. So someone may have had some type of control in a situation by means of manipulating other people around them. So they may have told people that you said something, did something, whatever this is, so that people could keep their distance from you. This is what a queen of wands or whoever this is has been doing, a queen of swords as well. Um, both of these women or whoever this is, it could just be the queen of swords source or it could be someone else i've been getting a lot of uh pull pulling um about a queen of wands but there's whoever it is regardless queen of wands queen of swords queen of cups queen of pentacles they're all in the reverse in my downloads um they are determined to defeat someone it's like someone uh, uh, i don't know if this is like a group of women there are people behind the scenes that it's like some cycle is over but they don't want to accept defeat they want to keep something going and they've been able to do this for a long time now in my readings i've been mentioning a queen of swords that's going to do something and i've been refusing to review what this woman is going to do and it looks like she's about to take action to do it so i'm going to let her carry this out because this is going to help put some type of karmic cycle to an end but there is some type of way a queen of swords uses her words when she's around people in her community to manipulate them to control them she's refusing to let go of something you could have a queen of wands behind the scenes as well that's going through some type of stalemate some type of ending a queen of pentacles as well is going through some type of ending there's something about poverty a queen of pentacles has been like demoted in life spiritually financially like materially emotionally mentally psychologically a queen of Pentacles has been demoted. Someone may be putting, maybe uh, being put out of a home. Someone may be facing homelessness, or their finances has just been depleted. Like someone has gone from like a ten or eight of Pentacles to like a five of Pentacles. This is how dreadful a Queen of Pentacles having a lot of uh, distress behind the scenes. Someone is crying a lot, but someone has depleted their own resources their comfortability and things like that and she has no one to blame because if you all can kind of go back you will remember i've been telling the queen of pentacles to kind of pull back from from something cut her losses and move on now i don't know if this is someone's wife or someone's mother because both of those energies keep pulling keep uh showing up in my readings readings so it could be one situation is a wife figure that's going through some type of ending and in another is a mother figure that's going through some type of ending because both has been both have been uh invested in taking someone else down or blocking some type of union whatever this is but there's a queen of swords that's about to do something and i think people may know what it is she's about to do or they don't know they've told her to let something go and she's refusing to you know how like sometimes when there's a battle in battle going on in a movie and everybody comes to some type of conclusion that they know they cannot they're not going to have victory over the other party and everybody drops their swords and walks away. There's always that one idiot that wants to keep going. This will be that one. 
Okay, and it's not going nowhere. She's headed for disappointment. This will be that one. She's determined to have wish fulfillment, to keep someone single. Yeah, this woman is determined to cause someone distress, that she wants you to stay in some type of, or be in some type of state of anxiety, fear, rejection. Someone wants you to be afraid of your shadow. Okay, someone has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. Someone may have even been hired to do you something like send you a lot of death spells, endings. There's a lot of negative energies and it's not working. Maybe something used to work before where these people ganged up together to have you in some type of mental imprisonment where you felt like the whole world was after you or they made people feel, uh, agree to contracts with them that they wouldn't assist you. There's something like that that's been going on for a while, but it's not working anymore. There's some type of disconnection the, uni the universe has put between you and a group of people. And there are women behind the scenes that are having a hard time adjusting to this new reality where they're not able to interfere with your energy there's a masculine as well that's behind the scenes having a hard time not being able to invade your privacy or not having access to you and someone is very desperate to be in your energy so he may end up doing something just to force himself in your energy and it's going to backfire horribly we have the freaking uh tower out here this is going to be for a couple as well a family it's that like it's like someone has created some type of toxic group, a friend group that's based on the sole fact that they are here to destroy you. But there are people walking away from this group. It's kind of like, man, this this is not worth it. This is not going anywhere. You need to grow up. Uh, it's, it's not going the way you think it's going to go. There's something like that. It's like people are in this building, burn, uh, this burning building, and they are seeing that the building is falling apart and they're choosing to leave now instead of standing there and listening to some moron tell them to keep going. But she wants to stay in there. So basically they're leaving the burning building and leaving her. They say, Hey, if you want to end yourself, that's your business. But we're not, I'm telling you, they're, they're like, we're not, we're not ready to die yet. We don't have time to be going through all this. We have other things to do with our lives. You want to let this consume your life. That's your business. Okay. You may have people that want to speak with you because they're seeing the truth about a situation. Some of them may find you to be very uh, brave or something like that. Whatever this is. Well, however, these people are starting to see you because there's some type of shift going on. It has someone burdened and weighed down behind the scenes. Also, the fact that you're going to be receiving some type of offer. They may want to step in and cause you some type of ending so that you can miss out on their offer. It says someone wants to do something really uh, dr dramatic, like cause some type of big bang uh, uh, um, reaction or something or some type of she, she wants to take some type of action that's going to lead to you missing an opportunity, but it's not going to work. Whatever you are supposed to be receiving is divinely orchestrated. So the universe is going to have it set up where this woman wouldn't even be able to be around when something is taking place. As a matter of fact, whoever is working with her that is paying people to travel towards you to do you something when whatever this is that's supposed to take place, like you receiving some type of opportunity, you meeting with something, there's going to be so much going on in these people's lives. They won't have time to even worry about you. I mean, they will be thinking about you, but they say, oh, you know, my mom is in the hospital. I got to go be with her. You know, I just lost my job. I got to go find another job. I was in a car accident yesterday. I got to figure out how I'm going to get a car. My uh, car got repo. My house is uh, up uh, is on uh, about to be for clores. I'm filing bankruptcy. My finances, like all kinds of stuff. I'm going through a divorce. Like things are, karma is about to be hitting these people back to back to back to back. But there is still going to be a couple of narcissists in here that will be coming after you because there's a group, a friend group that has made some type of pact and they said they're going to take you down if it's the last thing they do. Well, they can't have any it ain't happening. So someone, someone in this group likes to say over my dead body a lot, honey, as you wish. The universe is more than happy to grant your wishes. You just need to say the word and they're there. Okay. So someone may be taking some type of new path in life and it's going to lead to some type of divinely orchestrated meeting between you and them. This is going to be a king of wands. Uh, what I'm being told to tell you is that with this king of wands, this is the universe that's testing you. They're testing you. This is a test. They're hoping that you're going to see things from a higher perspective. Okay. This king of wands does not have like good intentions for you. 
Someone is going through a lot of losses and things like that behind the scenes. Someone may have rejected you before and now they want to come back. Them coming back is something that is supposed to be a test for you by the universe. It said, yeah, you found this person uh, 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 good looking. You found them to be charismatic, whatever. But you know they're not good for you. Are you going to... Um, Tolerate them. Are you going to entertain them or are, going, are you going to take your power and walk away from this toxicity? Because, you know, someone is very karmic. This this is you and this person. This is you and this is this person. Complete opposite. Someone has not changed. Someone has no intentions of changing. Someone just wants to have one chance with you so they can wine you, dine you and leave you. OK, so you may want to be careful. You meeting with a king of wands is a test by the universe to see if you are ready for the actual blessings, because a king of wands is plenty on coming in to just, you know, sweet talk. You make you promises that he has no intentions of fulfilling. So if you are out here being dumb enough, still following men around because uh, they're good looking or they have money, then honey, this is your future. Okay, that's your future. You are supposed to be going through some type of rebirth to ensure your victory. But there is someone that's wanting to come in and sneak you. You are an earth angel. They want to sneak you before you can end up in this 10 of pentacles energy. They may want you out of here, but you are being protected. Just keep calm, stay focused on what it is you're focused in. You have someone out here, a higher level soulmate that may, may be coming in. Yeah, this is a wealthy man that's coming in to give you some type of commitment and it's going to lead to abundance right? Um, there could be something where people are trying to figure out what it is or who it is that's coming towards you so they can put an end to it. They're not going to be able to put an end to this. It's a, I'm telling you, they're not going to be able to. It's a disappointment before they even start. Okay. The universe is not playing. The universe is not playing. Everyone that's been committed to causing you disappointments is their time. It's like the universe is saying tag. You all are in. Whoever's coming towards you is a bachelor. This is a whole emperor that has a lot of passion for you. And again, this is a meeting that is divinely meant to be, right? It's divinely meant to be. And people are causing a lot of still myths in your life, hoping to block this meeting from happening. But you two will meet and you will take a different path together. There's a queen of wands that's very much invested in blocking you. So she may be working with people behind the scenes. And she's working on what causing hindrances in this fresh start for you. This could be an ex of this man or this is some type of woman. He has some type of third party relationship with whatever this is. But she's absolutely determined to block you two from coming together. Maybe this is the one that says over my dead body or it could be the queen of swords. But you can rest assured you will be receiving some type of good news or offer. The truth is out. People may want to apologize to you and things like that. Ask you for forgiveness. People are dropping their swords, calling the truth, whatever this is. A family is wanting to move on, but there are people still behind the scenes, self-sabotaging, thinking that they're sabotage, sabotaging your new beginning. So I would just kind of thread with caution and mind your business and let them keep moving forward. Someone's coming in with a lot of passion for you. They see you as wish fulfillment, all kinds of stuff. Talking about I want to have a new beginning with you. You don't got no new beginning with this person. Someone's coming in with ulterior motives. They're hoping that when they come in, you won't see what it is they're intending for you. You will. You will. Whoever you're meant to be with is far, far away from you. At a whole distance. You've never met this man before. Uh, maybe someone may be aware of you, but you're not aware of them. I had a vision of a man, like a, uh, uh, there's, there's a man, he may be like influential, like someone in the public eye or something like that. You may not be aware of this man, but who I saw was a very tall man. He likes to dress very well. Someone loves the finer things in life, which he deserves because this is someone very hardworking. He's put a lot of, uh, he, he's invested a lot into his life. So he really deserved the best in the world. But someone loves the final things in life. It's not going to change. When you and someone meet, you are from two different spectrums. Two, you are from the opposite sides of the tracks. And honey, the two of you could not be more of an example of the opposite sides of the tracks. He's from the wealthy side. And honey, you are from the broke, busted, and disgusted side. 
and he knows it. You can't hide it. He knows. He knows you are broke, busted, and disgusted, but he likes you. <laughs> Baby, I'm I'm sorry to say that to you, honey. I don't know who you are, man or woman. I don't know who you are, but your soulmate, your higher level soulmate, he knows you don't got a dime to your name. But he's okay with that. He said, I got the money. We're good. She, She's fine. He's fine. He's not worried about any of that. That's because someone has gone through some type of lesson that the universe has put them through. Okay? But whoever you're meeting, this is a gentleman that likes to find on things in life and he's worked for it. Someone, I saw a man that, that was like getting dressed. He was wearing, a, uh, you know, those men collar shirts. But honey, the material this man was putting on, you see it, you know he got that shebang, shebang. Don't, go, don't come out here dating this man because he got money. Like be genuine with him because someone has had their heart broken. So be genuine with this man, okay? If you don't have any true intentions for him, honey, hand it here, okay? <laughs> hand, hand it here, okay? I'm just kidding. But, um... When I saw him in my vision, he was getting dressed. He had he was wearing like a, a button up shirt. He was in the process of button up his shirt, and I think it was like blue. There's something with this man in the color blue. I don't know if that's his favorite color. Maybe that would be the colors of his the the color of his eyes and things like that. Someone is like a gentle giant, but they have like a roguish a roguish side to them. I don't know why that word is coming up. But he may be like a little bit rough around the edges, but then at the same time, he's very soft hearted. Someone is going through some type of ascension is finally coming to some type of awakening of who he is. He's going through some type of transition as well. He's been out here. I think, I don't know if he was married to a Jizzy Bell pretending to be something she wasn't, or he's been with a Jizzy Bell for a long time. Someone is very karmic. Whoever he's been with is very karmic. And I don't even think he quite understands how karmic this woman is. But this man is doing some type of traveling. I don't know like if he's coming towards you or he wants to connect with you, but there will be some type of meeting that takes place in divine timing. I've seen this man a couple of times and I've only seen his face once and that was in a dream. The other times I've seen this man in a dream or a vision, he always hides his face that like he doesn't want me to see his face. I don't know if he doesn't want you to know who he is or whatever it is, but honey, this is someone in the public eye and he's very fond of you. He holds you in very high regard. Um, but just be very cautious with how you interact with this man because he's coming out of some type of heartbreak and uh, a disappointment with someone he invested a lot into. Okay. Um, but I saw someone that's very tall, like well built. Like the stature of this man is like massive. Okay. But he's like there's something like shy about this person. Very like gentle, like a gentle giant. You know, like how sometimes you meet certain men and they're all well built, well stature, very tall and things like that. And you just expect them to be there. <clears throat> no, that's not him. Like, I mean, like he, I don't know how to explain this man. Like there's a rough side to him, but he's a gentle giant. This would be like someone that loves nature, like down to earth. Uh, he has gone through some type of, my mental change like there's a way this man used to think he may have been very religious or something like that or just there's something about his mind like he used to have a fixed mindset and he's going through some type of change okay to be a little bit more relaxed like he's calming down like calm down sir calm down it's okay calm down chill relax relax okay someone may be like like he does something well, like I don't know it's, if it's like mental health counseling, something like that. Um, it has something to do with healing, or maybe this is what he's going to, going to be doing in the future. But there is something really essential about the two of you coming together, and the woman he's been with, she and her family have been making it extremely difficult for him to escape. It's like they've been brainwashing him or something with some type of religious, I don't know what this is, like some type of religious brainwashing has been taking place. You know, like those women, they meet a man, they see he's wealthy and he has a specific type of woman they think he likes. So she, you know, molds herself into that woman. She's going to pretend to be 
a holier than thou woman or something like that. Yeah, that's one of those. She and her friends have been pretending, but the but now they're all burdened that this man is taking the initiative. He's found the strength, right, to move on with his life. She and her friends are burdened. He's taking his offer somewhere else. Like this man has found the strength. He's been out here living as a bachelor. He's no longer happy. Being a bachelor, maybe he got out and explored the world a little bit. And when it comes to like women, I don't know if he did that, but there's something like that where he's like not happy anymore. So now he wants to be committed and he sees you as someone in the upright. He holds you in high honor. Okay. So he may be coming towards you to give you an offer, sees you as a queen of pentacles as well, and may want to clarify some things with you. Maybe there's something where he wants to have some type of sit down with you, especially when it comes to like spirituality and things like that. Your, uh, both of you's perspective on life, um, just things like that. He may even want to talk to you about how disappointed he was in some type of relationship he was in and he just put an end to it. But I'm pretty sure you intuitively know what this person has been going through. There could be some type of court case going on between the two of them or there was a court case going on between the two of them and maybe it's over now. Um, so he's taking the initiative. Yeah, he's taking the initiative, made a decision to move forward with his life because he's seeing things from a higher perspective. Someone is trying not to self-sabotage anymore. Maybe he's done this before a lot of times in life before. Someone lives in, like, he has a lot of anxiety about moving too fast, being too impulsive, and giving an offer to the wrong person because he doesn't want to be disappointed again. Um, so this could be like someone that's a little bit slow moving, but it's, it's for a reason. It's what I'm hearing. It's for a reason. Um, but behind the scenes, behind your, behind you, in the back of the scenes of you, in the back of the scenes of him, there are people that are trying to block you two from moving forward. Both groups may not even know each other, but uh, uh, simultaneously they are doing the same thing. It's to block you two from having fulfillment in life altogether. The woman in his life said, if you're not going to be with me, you can't be with anyone. She may have been out here competing with another woman. Maybe it was you she was competing with and you didn't know the whole time. So someone has been taking some type of action to interfere with your life and you don't even know them. May have said that you've been copying them, doing something or just talking really nasty about you, something like that. And you don't know this woman from Adams. Okay. Um, and then in the background of you, you have a lot of crazy people that are just doing too much to keep you stuck. They want you stuck in some type of unhealthy mindset. They want you to self-sabotage. They want you to feel hopeless in life. They want to basically trap you and have you living in fear, but it's not happening. You're someone that has ascended, like you are an ascended master. So it's that whatever it is they're doing, it's not working. And whoever this is that's coming towards you will be investing in you. They do see quality and value in what it is you are contributing to the world you two may end up getting married or something this is someone that's watching you and he does want to commit with you a commitment with you and this could be in marriage um so he will be communicating with you to give you an offer yeah a ace of pentacles ace of cups and this is coming in quickly okay you two may end up working together. So this could be something where it turns out that you two uh, are partners in business and in love, in life, life, like, like, um, life partners, but not Will and Jada, like actual life partners. Okay. Yeah. Actual life partners. This is something that has manifested in the spirit. Now it's manifesting in the physical and there's nothing anyone can do to stop this. I'm telling you, there's nothing anyone can do to stop this. Like this is something that's supported by the universe as above, so below. And anyone that tries to do anything <laughs> and they're going to have to move on. So, yeah. But this, this queen of swords here, this is someone that's dreadful. Like someone is refusing to let go of something. And I think this has to do with your side of the story. What you've been going through with a, a group of people. Maybe you don't even pay these people any mind. Uh, someone, she's pissed off and living in some type of, of angry energy because someone wants to apologize to you and tell you the truth and give you some type of offer of friendship. Someone wants to heal, but this woman does not want to heal. 
Okay, she does not want to heal. Someone does not care about healing. Someone does not like people self-actualizing. When you try to self-actualize, she gets in there and, and causes you a tower. She's like, what the heck are you talking about self-actualizing? So she's out here pissed off because someone wants to communicate with you. Wants to come or uh, go on to come. Yeah, they want to heal things with you. Seal onto karma waters. Balance things out. And she's pissed off about that. She's still in this energy. Because she thinks she's going to have some type of victory. And this is you. She keeps meeting you with this energy. She keeps finding you with this energy. So it's a, there's a woman. I don't know who this queen of source is. Someone is just real bitter. Someone is just really distorted. Like their mental is distorted. Someone may have some type of mental illness. But they're going to have to move on and heal. Because whatever it is she's planning to do. It, I'm telling you it's going to backfire. Someone is mentally unstable and she still thinks that she's going to have some type of victory. I don't know if she thinks she's coming in your energy to do something physically. Whatever this is, and I'm going to say whatever this is and like, because I want to keep it general. It's going to close this chapter out and bring balance into a situation. And this is going to enable two people to be together. But this woman, um, ma'am, I'm not even going to address you. You're not even worth our time. Not even worth our time. This woman mental is unstable. This could be someone that's paying people out here to do you something. And whoever you end up with is going to be very protective of you. I'm being guided to tell you, yeah, she's upset because this group, people know the truth now. They see you as genuine. And they may want to extend some type of friendship to you, apologize to you, something like that. She don't want it ha happening. She's still upset. She's, she, and she's afraid of people finding something out. Whoever you are supposed to be partnering up with, this could be like a king of pentacles you've never met before. Someone is going to be very protective of you. He knows that there's a group that has been tempering with you, messing with you, doing things to you, or trying to do things to you. So he's going to be very protective of you. Okay? Very protective of you. Yeah, this group, is, I'm telling you, this, this group is moving on. They're moving on. Like this woman is the one that still wants to keep going with something. The group feels way down. They're moving on because they feel way down. They don't want to be part of this nonsense anymore because it's not going anywhere. Like they're burdened, trying to burden you. It's like everything they do. It's that people are trying to curse you, but every action they take to curse you, it flips in the upright for you. So like whatever negativity they put out in the world for you, in whatever negativity they spit out in the atmosphere for you is being converted or transmuted into something positive for you. So it's like your enemies are blessing you in a way. So if they say like, oh, you're going to you're gonna pass away tomorrow, the universe is like, well, we're going to add another year to their life, hypothetically speaking. Because you know we're all on a contract and we're not here any longer than we're supposed to be. But I'm just using that as an example. Or if they say like you're going to lose all your money tomorrow, the universe is like, hey, you know what you have in your account? We're going to double that. Something like that. Okay? So they're way down. They are way down. They've been overworking themselves. Some People are like, we, we, they're moving on because they're way down. I don't know how else to put that. They are moving on because they are burdened. This has taken over their lives. People say they have other things to do. They have their own families to take care of, their own problems to take care of. If she wants to keep going, they're going to let her keep going. Or if this is a man in his king of source energy, uh, because someone does a lot of uh, word manipulation. So this could be why he's showing up as the queen of source. He uses his words a lot or she uses her words a lot to manipulate people, turn people against each other. But because someone has their eyes set on you, this is why everybody that they have gotten together came up against you. It's like they told some type of lie, manipulated people to believe that you did something to them, said something to them. And now that the truth is out about who you really are, people are like, what's the point of this? One, the person know what, knows what we're doing. Two, we're losing. Three, we got better things to do with our time. Four, we're not going to get back anything we invested in this situation. So we want to move on. They're done. Some people in here want to heal. They said, yeah, they, everything they invested, there was no return. 
Can you imagine like investing your money into, let's say, Bitcoin or something monthly, but you don't get any return on investment, but someone wants you to keep investing? You put you put five thousand out of this month just to find out if you lost it all. Like the, putting money into the stock market, if it does not return anything, but you keep putting it in there, hoping that it'll eventually turn around, but one year goes by, nothing, and you're still putting your money in there. For what? It's something like that. They've invested in the wrong thing. This is how people are seeing it. Like they've lost a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy. People, some of them don't even remember who they are anymore, why they're doing what they're doing, what their life has become. There's someone in here that says, what has my life become? Why am I doing this? Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Disappointments. Disappointments. They said, why am I doing this? What has my life become? Why did I partake in this? Why did I agree to do this? Something like that. People are having regrets. Regrets. And there's some someone in here that's pissed off because they're finding out that you're actually genuine. And they've been coming after someone all based on a lie. On a lie. But whatever you're meant to have, it's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. She's going to have to move on too. But it's going to be after she does something. Because this woman, her mental, like she's going to self-sabotage. Her mental is not stable. Someone's mental is unstable. Someone is, like, someone needs to be placed in a mental asylum because what she's saying is that she's invested all this time, this energy, this money into taking you down and blocking fulfillment for you. It's like everything she has tried to manifest for you is what's happening to her. So she wanted you in some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment, causing natural disaster in your life. This is what's happening to her. That's why they ate a source is coming out before her because she's the one that's trapped in her mind she's the one that's mentally unstable she's the one that's losing her emotions behind the scenes she's the one living in anxiety and fear she's the one that's weighed down and burdened right but she's still through all of that nonsense that she's going through she is still taking initiative initiatives to come towards you to cause what more illusion to try and cause a tower in your life that's what she wants to do she wants to cause a tower in your life, in your work, everything. She said, I told people you were worthless. You were dumb. You were not smart. I told people you were incompetent. So that is what you are. And I'm going to prove to them that that is what you are. And hey, honey, it's about to be a showdown, a showdown. And they're fighting behind the scenes because a lot of them want to move on with their life. But she wants to keep going. So when whatever this is happens and she gets taken care of, these people will be able to move on with their lives. So if you are a part of this community, let her let, let her go. Let her go do what it is she wants to do. So that you all can have peace. You can take the horse to the water, but you can't make the horse drink the water. Oh, this was coming in the reverse. Man, we are going to put you in the reverse. You are coming out in the reverse. She... <laughs> ah, that is crazy dang that is crazy this is a woman that's telling people that you are like someone has slender another person's character another woman's character all based off of a lie this is one of those women that say i heard that she sells herself I heard that he sells his sell himself. I heard that she has this, he has that. I heard that he's homeless or she's homeless. The whole time they're burdened because what well, they know they're lying. And they're burdened because what well, people see you as wish fulfillment. Maybe someone has insecurity issues that they're dealing with and they project it onto other people's. This could be someone that does a lot of low vibrational activities behind the scenes but then what she's doing is what she's projecting onto other people okay and their queen of wands reverse that's just to keep showing up every reading every reading mad because you're getting a, a ace of pentacles offer oh dang she was expecting to get the offer herself dang 
She thought she was going to get an offer, but it's not going to her. It's going to a queen of pentacles. This will be you, collective. This will be you. This woman thought someone was coming to her to give her an offer. She's not getting the offer. It's going to a queen of pentacles. Someone that deserves it. Someone that's actually skilled and committed. And someone will be held in high honor. This is what they've been doing behind the scenes to block you from being seen. Because they wanted a queen of wands reversed to be seen as the person that's skilled. What she really needs to be doing is going through some type of ascension. Some type of healing. But someone does not like to self-actualize. Neither of these women like to self-actualize. All they do is waste people time. All they do is manipulate. This is someone's ex. And she's refusing to be the ex. She says she don't want that title. That's, that's not the title she wants. She wants to be the actual, I don't know, the mean chick or something is what I just heard. But someone does not see her and does not want her to be the mean chick. I'm telling you, you are the one that is skilled and very innovative. And this is why someone is coming towards you with an offer. Because they know you can multiply whatever it is they're giving you. No matter how small. They've given, he's given to her time and time and time again. And he has gotten nothing in return. So now, why has, she gotten not, why has he gotten nothing in return? Because someone does not manage money very well. Instead of investing the money, money he was giving her into business, into something worth her time, worth her while, she was investing it in taking another woman down. Now the little bit that she has, she's trying to hold on to it, but she's not holding on to it tight enough because she's out here paying people to do something to you. I can't. Sister thought she was going to get something. She was feeling confident out here. I heard false promises. She made false promises to people. Told them they were going to get this. They was going to get that. Once he gave her this ace of pentacles or some type of position. Something like that. Some type of commitment. I'm going to give you 30000 You're going to have this job position. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. They ain't getting none of it. It's been a lie. It's been a lie, folks. Sister don't got nothing. She don't got nothing. It's been a lie. Someone is delusional. Delusional. It says someone thought they had some type of operation down packed. She thought she had an operation down packed. Everything was set in stone to go accordingly. There were no rooms for hiccups. You are the hiccup that she was not expecting. <laughs> you are the hiccup there's something where it's that you've been saying the truth about someone and they've been trying to hide it it's that when you initially started saying the truth because you're showing up in your queen of swords energy you initially started saying the truth she may have told someone you were mentally unstable you didn't know what you were talking about you were unskilled blah 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 you were a waste of time. You like everything was wrong with you. You were mentally unstable. Is what she told someone. But then, as time went on, someone decided to start looking into things for themselves because whatever you were saying was resonating a little too well for someone behind the scenes. So he said, "I'm going to look into this," and he found stuff that she cannot deny. And he said, "Oh." She got me good. <laughs> she got me good. And she's pissed off because someone is loyal to you. You may not even know who this person is, but you've touched the masculine behind the scenes. You've touched this man's life or changed this man's life in some way. You may not know who he is. So he's very loyal to you. He's a loyal friend. You don't went from a three of pentacles to a whole eight of pentacles, meaning you've been doing the work behind the scenes. This is what people don't see, which uh, re refers to my post that I, I, uh, I made today in the community tab. People don't see the work others do behind the scenes to be who they are or to have what it is they have in life. They'll see you. You seem peaceful. Your life is together. They hate you for it. The whole time, they don't know that you had to find the strength to move on in life and keep investing in yourself, right? 
disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, you still choose to what? Invest in yourself to stand your ground and stay true to yourself, right? That's the side people don't see. They'll meet you in chapter 200 and then they'll hate you because you're not in chapter uh, 10 when you were unsure of yourself, when you had nothing. So they're pissed off at what it is that you have in life. Never mind that you've gone through 199 other chapters where you had to struggle, sweat, bleed, and everything to get to level 200, chapter 200. They don't care about any of that. They just care that, they, they just know that they don't like you. They don't want you having certain things in life. They don't want you living a privileged life. They don't want people thinking highly of you. They don't want people to see you as someone of substance. So they make it their mission or their purpose in life to come after you. And then it backfires heavily. This is what people don't see. When you see people out here minding their business, mind your business. It's easy as ABC. One of the first lessons we learn in life when we start grade school is ABC. You know how easy ABC is, right? That's how easy it is to mind your business. Very simple. But people that are insecure, like this king, queen of wands in the reverse. This is someone insecure. This is community, community property. Someone reckless, unhinged, into dark magic. A lot of manipulations, mental manipulation. Someone misuses the female energy to get what it is she wants. So if she has to lay with you to get something out of you, then she will. She don't care. Don't feel no ways about it. But if you were to bring it up, it's a problem. She don't see a problem with being loose. But if you call her loose, you're the bad one. Someone has been cheating the entire time they were in a relationship. The entire time. The entire time. And maybe this masculine they didn't know that. But someone has been pulling the wool over a masculine for a long time. And when he tries to leave, she uses her words and her body to, you know, draw him back in. And then he changes his mind. And then the mother is behind the scenes feeding him nonsense as well. If they know that he's interested in someone that's from the diff opposite si uh, sides of the track, Oh, girls like that, they're only good for one thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was you and your daughter. They're only good for one thing. This girl here, this is a little girl. This is a little girl that refuses to heal. Her mother didn't teach her how to heal. Her mother taught her how to be conniving, how to woo men, how to use her body to get what she wants. How to use her body to secure the bag and how to misuse religion, things like that. Someone pretends to be something they're not. And she's been living in fear of people finding out the truth. You spoke the truth about this woman. And the minute you spoke the truth and someone started seeing things from a different perspective, he said, oh yeah, I got to look into it. He looked into it and he, everything you said was the truth. And someone, this woman they didn't know that this man was onto her for a long time. You know how like some women, they think they're so crafty. They don't realize that you're onto them and they keep doing something to you behind the scenes. But then when they, when they, when they see you face to face, they're smiling, calling you baby and all of that. There was a video of a woman that was poisoning her husband and she had tried it a couple of times. And she didn't know that he had put cameras in the house, right? And he, he, he saw her putting stuff in his food or his drink. So that's how he found out that his wife had been poisoning him. Crazy. I'm also hearing there's something about like a child. It's that she was... I don't know if she was laying, this woman here, she was laying with a man, another man outside of her relationship, either got pregnant and then said that it was her, either her husband or the person she was in a relationship with, but the whole time it was by a third party. 
So they started trying to find ways on how it could be that he would see the child as his or he would take responsibility and not know that the child is not his. They may have tried to unalive him, tried to poison him, tried to uh, orchestrate some type of attack. There's something this woman has been doing behind the scenes, either even stealing from this man and giving it to her lover. There's something like that has been going on. She and her lover have been living a lavish lifestyle at the detriment of her, of her partner. Someone, this is weakness in flesh. But sometimes these men, they got to go through this journey because not everything cute you see, you should be touching. So you, you see how some flowers, you see them in the wild, they're very beautiful to look at. But you go to touch them, thorns everywhere. Some things are just pretty to look at and you leave them alone. Some things are just pretty to look at and you leave them alone. You see how this man here is keeping his distance. He said, mm -mm, stay away from me. Yeah, you cute and all that, but stay over there. That's what this brother should have done. But he saw her. He said, oh, she presented herself to be in the upright. And she was pretending to be intellectual and none of the above. None. Don't know nothing. Airhead. Clueless. Good for nothing but one thing, and y'all know what it is. That's why she's out here like that, legs wide open. Anyways, folks, it says you have a lot to offer to the world. <sighs> Listen, <laughs> the message comes out, so I got to say it the way it comes out. That's how it came out. She don't got nothing to offer but them legs. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.